Hi, this is Johan Horek from ilocals.info. I would like to show you how to get started with your blog and how to set it up. As soon as you've read the terms and conditions, click on I agree, create my friendly blog now. Scroll down and enter your username, enter your email address. Scroll down again and click on give me a blog and then click on next. On the next page you'll see that your domain name becomes your username. You can change that. Let's say you would like to create a blog on load sharing if that's the name of the blog that will be your domain name there's your blog title and then you can decide on your privacy either it's made available to google and technocrati and others and it's public if you don't want it public you can just if you click on no it'll only be to your invited friends and subscribers click on sign up now i've already used load sharing in a previous example so let's go to load sharing let's make it my load sharing and let's sign it up. All we need to do now is go and activate the blog in your email. Let's go and do that. That opens up the email and you've got to activate that link. That will now take you back to your iLocals blog. You're back. You'll find your username and your password. You've got to keep that in a safe place. But if you go back to your email, you should also see a new email with all the information. You'll receive your username and your password and then we can log in. Okay, let's go back to the site. Now let's go and view the site. Let's just copy this. Can remember it. Let's view it. Now you'll see that you've got your block up and running. It's the default template. I have some news for you on there on what you need to do. Basically, if you get here, you can go and log in. Click on that and log into your blog. My username is J. Alright, and I paste my password in and I'm in. The first thing I suggest you do is click on presentation. This is what's called the, the, the uh, dashboard, this back end. This is where you'll spend most of the time. Now you'll see that I've got more than a hundred different templates that you can choose from. Now you must decide what you like. I have a few preferences and I'll share them with you. This K2 is a really, really an excellent template you can change it the way you like this is one of my favorites misty look what's nice about misty look is you can change the header and there are many options many people around the world use misty look and you would not even notice that it's misty look for instance i use misty look on my on the i locals uh, info blog which you now i can do is just go and view your site again and you see that you've changed it to a more i would say an interesting look and feel now if you click back, I'd just like to show you where you can change the header. You can upload your own header. That is the default header image. And it tells you the size of the image. You don't need to worry about that. You can actually go and find your own little header. And it doesn't really matter what size. Well, it matters, but it's not critical because the software will actually change it for you. Let's take that one, for instance. Let's upload it. You can see that this or this image is actually larger than quiet size. You, you can play around with it with a size. Drag it and then crop the header. And let's view the site now. There you are. You've changed the header. So you can, you can customize that. The next thing I would like you to do is basically get rid of this post. This is your first post and it says hello world. The first thing you need to do, basically just go click back, go to manage. And there's your first post that's been created. Uh, what I would suggest you do, click on delete and that post delete. The next thing you can do is go to write and you can start writing this post. You can then enter text. Now if you would like to, you can go and upload a photo in there. Find something else. Let's find a photo. Grass, Hagen chips. And then you get a title. And then you can upload it. You can send it through a thumbnail or a full size. Let's go for full size. And let's just place our cursor where we would like the photo to be. And then you click on send to editor. There's your photo. And now what you can do is you can go and send any of these. You can just go and highlight if you like. Click bold. So you've got all the functions that you've got in Word. There are many other functions as well. We're not going to go at the moment. If you need any questions asked give me a call or send me an email we will now do click on publish you can save and continue editing many people have asked me in the past oh they've lost the draft now what we do with this site we actually save your draft automatically and you can always go back to them but if you would like to save and continue you can do that if you would just like to save it as a draft you can save it then come back to it or you can click on publish now let's click on pub and now let's go in there yeah, this is my first post on my new blog your lovely glass of wine unbelievable chip okay. the next thing you can do you go and change the about me page go to money go to pages and you can go and click on 
edit and you can change the about me page at the moment it says this is an example page whatever 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 just take it all out and I help people to start blog for enter and then you can just go and this time around just save it and view the site because the about me page is a page not a post you'll see it as part of your menu and then you go down and see all the change made over there so that's it you've got an idea of pages and posts i know there's a lot more to that there's your recent post that you've just created click on that you'll go to your recent post and you can be of and blog good luck with that if you have any questions i have my contact information available on the ilocals blog thank you